Hi, I'm Councilmember Kelly Curtis, Chair of the Parks Funding Exploratory Committee. At the request of thousands of our residents, the Council is considering a ballot measure this November to accelerate parks and recreation investments in a new aquatic center. We need your help to get it right. Please watch this three and a half minute video on recommendations made to the Council and how you can add your perspective to the conversation. Thank you. In September of 2022, the City Council convened 45 Kirkland community members from all walks of life to spend six months learning about Kirkland's parks and recreation system and to develop a potential parks ballot measure to enhance programs and facilities. This thoughtful and innovative group was named the Parks Funding Exploratory Committee, or PFEC. These are PFEC's recommendations to keep Kirkland one of the best cities in America to live, work, and play. New indoor pools for swim lessons, swim teams, and lap swim. Family-friendly warm water pools with lazy rivers, spray and play fun, birthday parties, senior programs, exercise classes, and more. New fitness rooms and equipment for aerobics, cycling, kickboxing, yoga, weight training, and other fitness programs. New gymnasiums for youth sports, sports leagues, clinics for basketball, volleyball, and pickleball, and more. Multi-purpose space for dance, youth and adult drawing, and camps for computer programming, film, art, Legos, and science, martial arts classes, and more. New activity spaces for music, technology, maker spaces, and more. These investments could become a reality with one or two aquatics and recreation centers located in the current Houghton Park and Ride at 70th and I-405 or at the North Kirkland Community Center on Northeast 124th Street. PFEC's other priority investments include expanding year-round public restroom availability from five parks to 11 that currently have seasonal restrooms, such as at O.O. Denny and Waverly, and creating three brand new restrooms at McAuliffe Park, North Rose Hill Woodlands Park, and Terrace Park. Completion of priority segments of the Green Loop Trail in Northwest Kirkland, including both land purchases and trail construction toward the goal of a connected corridor from the Lake Washington shoreline to the top of Finn Hill. Seven new sport courts throughout the city, including a pickleball complex with three courts, two tennis courts, a full basketball court, and a sand volleyball court slated for O.O. Denny Park. Expanding teen recreation programs, such as guided hikes and summer camps, and broadening the city operations of the Kirkland Teen Union Building to include drop-in teen center hours seven days a week and life skills programs such as cooking, job skills, and financial literacy and to serve a city with 9.5 miles of Lake Washington waterfront, increased beach lifeguard hours at Juanita Beach Park, Waverly Beach Park, and Doris Cooper Houghton Beach Park, as well as water safety programs such as 24-7 loner life jacket stations and life rings at all waterfront parks. The Council received PFEC's recommendations and will consider them in May and June. Now the Council wants to hear from you. What are your priorities for parks and recreation in Kirkland? The Council will decide by mid-July whether to place a measure on the ballot. Dive in now to create the future of Kirkland's aquatics, recreation, and open spaces. Visit the link in the description to visit the survey and add your voice to the conversation. Want to dive deeper? You can review materials shared with PFEC at kirklandwa.gov slash dive in now.